One of the biggest questions to be answered by Buffalo Sabres general manager Jason Botterill is who will be his dynamic duo of goaltenders for the 2018-19 NHL season. The Sabres haven't been winning much in the past seven playoff-less seasons. Not surprisingly, they've only had two goaltenders with a winning percentage w percent greater than .500 in that span. In the 2015-16 season, Chad Johnson went 2 2 one 6 4 4.523 w percent Before that, Ryan Miller went 3 one 2 one 7 4.525 w percent in the 2011-12 season. He's also the last Sabres goalie to reach the 30 wine mark. Ryan Miller was the last steady Sabres goaltender. File photo, Sabres need an upgrade in net be all accounts, it was a rough season for the Sabres. The offense was non-existent, ranking dead last in the league and the only team not to crack the 200 goal mark. The measly goal output meant that goaltenders Robin Leonard and Chad Johnson had to stand on their heads just to keep the team in games. Related, Sabres roster won't be easy to overhaul though they let in their fair share of softies, on most nights behind the worst defense the team has iced in years, they were often left out to dry. Poor defensive coverage, lack of physical play from their defense in front of the net and oddman rushes against were the norm. Forwards often cheated. Goalies were left exposed and given the lowest goal support in the NHL. The Sabres finished with a league worst minus 81 goal differential. That said, while the team in front of them offered little to no help, neither Lanner and Johnson helped their cause. In a year that either could have taken the reins, both failed to cement their place in the Sabres system. Average to poor goaltending exacerbated the team's problems. Robin Lenner Lenner missed the final five games of the season due to a lower body injury. Fortunately, the 26-year-old netminder consulted multiple specialists and will not need surgery for an undisclosed lower body injury, speculated to be hip-related, while he's far from the weakest link on the team, he never really stole games for them, either. The biggest strike against Lanner remains that former general manager Tim Murray traded a first-round pick for him. Though this fact will never change it's a sunk cost some fans will forever spew venom at him. His season, like the Sabres, was nothing to write home about. Even he'll tell you, he just wasn't good enough. His season started out decently but then, as the calendar flipped, the wheels slowly fell off. He finished with a 1-4-2-6-9 record. Winner's numbers, 0.908 save percentage, rank, tied 38th among goalies playing at least 20 games, 3.01 goals against average, rank, 45.480 quality starts percentage, rank, 41st minus 6.08 goals saved above average, rank, 41 stthe passionate and intense sweet wears his heart on his sleeve. He's not afraid to speak his mind and hold himself and others accountable. He's also always ready to defend his teammates, be it roughing up an opponent or just burning holes through them with his laser-like stares. Leonard has the most amazing knack for making a dozen killer saves, yet letting in at least a goal per game where you'd bang your head against a wall and ask, how the heck did he let that in? No one dares to question Leonard's passion. Kevin Hoffman USA Today Sports Leonard's technical game was not great especially his side-to-side -side movement, nor was his rebound control. With a one-year, prove-it type contract from Botterill, the lanky netminder did himself no favors for the upcoming season and his next contract. He'll become a restricted free agent July 1st, Chad Johnson Johnson returned to the Sabres last summer after a year with the Calgary Flames. 
His second stint with the team was downright terrible it was arguably the worst campaign of his professional career. The 31-year-old netminder from Saskatoon struggled to find any consistency in his game. His lone stretch of success came in February when he posted a .932 save percentage, earning a 4-2 record during that span. His $2.5 million one-year deal was pricey for a backup and yielded no return for blue and gold faithful. In 36 appearances, he had a record of 10173.891 save percentage, rank 55th among goalies playing at least 20 games, 3.55 goals against average, rank 55.414 quality starts percentage, rank 51st minus 20.57 goals saved above average, rank 54th for a lot of games, for like 20 out of 29, it just seemed like a mess, said Johnson. Things need to obviously change for a goalie to have success. You look at any team, if they play the way that we play, I think any goalie, whether you're Pekka Rene or Andre Vasilevsky, if a team doesn't play a certain basic standard, it's going to be a mess. Johnson was flat out terrible last season. Amy Irvin, the hockey writers, Johnson, however well liked in the locker room, was a lousy goalie last season. He'd be an unrestricted free agent on July 1st but said he is open to returning under the right circumstances. That would require a pay cut and perhaps his contract could be laden with incentives. At Johnson's end of the season interview, he basically said if he knew the Sabres would be this bad he wouldn't have come here as it likely damaged his career, I know I can be a good goalie in this league and I showed that when things were the way they should be, said Johnson. I have to see the change whether it's through players or somehow convince me through contract, through whatever it is, to come back. Linus Elmark's season while he had a good season in Rochester for the Amherst being selected to his second straight All-All-Star game. He's yet to see a starter's workload in the NHL. The 6'4 native of Lundvik went the 4th of December 21 with a .922 save percentage and a 2.44 goals against average. But, when things mattered most in the Calder Cup playoffs, Ulmark was torched. He allowed 16 goals on 80 shots for a .800 save percentage. The Amerks were swept in the first round by the Syracuse Crunch. It didn't bode well for management or fan confidence in Ulmark being the answer to the Sabres' mediocre at best goal tending. Just to go out there and not perform, it just hurts. It just hurts, said the sad Swede. Allmark will be in Buffalo for the 2018-19 season. Photo by Timothy T. Ludwig USA Today Sports, Linus Allmark has appeared in 26 NHL games, with a record of 9-1-3-2. 20 of his starts came in 2015-16 when Leonard was sidelined with an injury. Sabres goaltenders for the 2018-19 season Sabres currently have six goaltenders on their roster. Robin Leonard, 26 years old starter, Fashad Johnson, 31 years old, Euphelina Selmark, 24 years old, signed through the 2018-19 season. Jason Kasdorf, 25-year-old minor leaguer, or Fadim Wilcox, 25-year-old minor leaguer, Eufy Jonas Johansson, 22-year-old minor leaguer, signed through the 2019-20 season. Yuko Pekka Lukanen, Sabres own his rights, but he is still unsigned. At his season-ending press conference, Botterill stated Elmark will be one of the Sabres' two goalies next season. That means Spotterill has to find a complimentary veteran who can take over if need be, someone who can push Elmark and who could start if Elmark falters. It's unlikely that will be Leonard or Johnson. What to do with Leonard while Robin Leonard has had limited success with the Sabres, it's hard to imagine that he'll sign a deal in the summer knowing that he could be a backup. The same can't be said for Johnson, who could provide familiarity and guidance for Elmark as he becomes the number one guy. 
as an RFA, Leonard's one-year qualifying offer is $4 million. Once the offer is made, Leonard has the choice to accept it or continue to negotiate, he has arbitration rights this year. As long as the qualifying offer is made, the Sabres retain his rights. They could also submit a qualifying offer and then try to trade him. Leonard's days could be numbered with the Sabres. Peter Lewell and USA Today Sports, it's possible that the Sabres sign Leonard to a multi-year deal at a lower salary, but that's unlikely for both sides. The Sabres may simply not tender a qualifying offer, allowing Leonard to become a UFA and then revisit the idea of signing him or another goaltender in free agency. The thought of letting a player who has some value and who cost a no? One pick is troubling. One would hope Butterell can get something for him, even if it's a mid to late round pick. If Leonard stays in Buffalo, he'd need to be at peace with a smaller workload and smaller paycheck. Both of those would be significant pieces of humble pie to swallow. Unrestricted free agent goaltenders for 2018-19 There's no shortage of unrestricted free agent goaltenders available. Only six of them, not including Johnson, played in 30 games or more in 2017-18. All stats shown among goalie playing at least 30 games, Yaroslav Halak, New York Islanders, is coming off a four-year $18 million contract, .908 save percentage, rank tied 38, 3.19 goals against average, rank tied 51st, .449 quality starts percentage, rank 47th minus 7.593 goals saved above average, rank 44th.